Loki, the god of mischief, had pulled off many pranks in his lifetime. One of the most ridiculous pranks he pulled off was after one of Thor's many adventures in Midgard. Thor was approached by a woman before heading back to Asgard. She wanted to show her appreciation for saving them, and then proceeded to give Thor a kiss. Immediately, he was transformed into a frog. Loki had transformed Thor into a frog, just as Frigga summoned all the people of Asgard for the Great Althing, where they would decide who the new ruler of the Golden Realm would be. Without Thor around, Loki had paved his way for his own ascension. Meanwhile, Thor, in an attempt to get someone's attention, made his way to the Avenger Mansion, and knocked over a container of sugar, writing a message that said, I am Thor. Unfortunately, the mansion's butler, Jarvis, found Thor and proceeded to sweep him out of the mansion, sending him into the streets. While in the street, off in the distance, a rat began pursuing Thor. He began to run away, just to come to the realization that he was Thor, and Thor doesn't run from his enemies. He turned and quickly annihilated his foe. A random frog named Puddlegup then approached Thor in an attempt to recruit him for an apparent war going on between the frogs and rats. After watching Thor's run-in with the rat, he wanted a fighter like him on their side. Without him on their side, they were no match against the rats. As they were talking, a fleet of rats began charging at Thor and Puddlegup. They made their escape to the frog's base at the reservoir. Upon their arrival, King Glugwart, King of the Frogs, was being ambushed by some rats. Puddlegup wasted no time to fight for his king's safety. Meanwhile, Thor realized that Puddlegup was outnumbered and would soon fall to the rats. Thor took it upon himself to be a part of the cause. He jumped into the fight to annihilate the remaining rats. Sadly, the two were too late to rescue the king. In the king's last few moments, he stated that Thor was the miracle that he had been praying for, and that he was willing to give his kingdom and daughter to Thor if he would save his people. Puddlegup and Thor then returned to safety with the other frogs. King Glugwart's daughter, Princess Greensong, was there anxiously waiting to see if her father had returned. As Puddlegup addressed the frogs to inform them of their king's death, a frog named Bugeye was disgusted with him, believing that he could have saved the king if he were there. The tension in the air was broken when another frog named Dewlap surfaced from the water, telling everyone that the rats had placed poison around the park and planned to poison the lake. This brought Thor into a mental dilemma on if he should stick around to help the frogs or find his way back to Asgard. He ultimately decided that lives are precious no matter who they are, and pledged himself to the frogs. Even with the help of Thor, the frogs were still the underdogs in the fight, so Thor did what no frog would attempt to do, to get the dragons as reinforcements. While taking some rats as bait and leaving a trail of rats, as he made his way through the sewer, he found the so-called dragons, which turned out to be alligators. To his surprise, there was a man playing a tune through his instrument, which was controlling the alligators. Out of the corner of the man's eye, he saw Thor carrying around the rats and was impressed, wanting to see this frog for himself, so he changed the tune, causing Thor to be controlled by the melody. Through his strength, however, Thor used his momentum to propel himself into the man grabbing the instrument right out of his mouth. Without the flute, the piper was just another average Joe and was no longer in control of the alligators. The piper quickly jumped up a ladder to get away from the beasts as Thor made his way back to the entrance which he came from. Trails of rats led the way to the entrance and served as a snack for the alligators. Thor then led the charge back to the park reservoir. Meanwhile, outside, half the rats began positioning themselves to ambush the frogs while the other half prepared to dump the poison into the reservoir. Almost out of nowhere, the frogs made their attack on the rats with the poison, with the intention of breaking the poison bags, which would save the reservoir. While the rats were being distracted, the rest of the frogs made their way into the fight. As the battle went on, the frogs made a retreat as the rats pursued them. The frogs split off in every direction causing confusion to the rats when they saw their worst nightmare the alligators who had just been led into an all-you-can-eat buffet of rats. Admiring his cunning tactics, Thor was almost suddenly smashed by a rock that had been thrown at him. It was none other than the piper himself. With a vengeance, he reclaimed his flute. Just as it seemed that the piper was going to kill Thor, he started talking to him and sharing that he was impressed with a seemingly simple frog of his stature and abilities. Cheerfully, the piper began to play his melody, but this time, not only did he gain control over the alligators, but he also brought the rats with him. Thor joined the other frogs as they celebrated their victory. With the war now out of the way, it was time for the frogs to choose their new king. 
it was clear to the people that Thor was the most deserving of the throne for his valiant efforts in saving them. Even though Thor was the favorite among the people, he did not want to rule the frogs, but rather he wanted to return to his home of Asgard. With his final words to the frogs, he admonished them to have faith in their new queen, knowing that she was the rightful ruler of their people. Puddlegup caught Thor before he was about to leave, thanking him for what he had done. He admitted that he too was once a man, but decided to live among the frogs. He then wished Thor good luck and advised him to find a pretty girl to kiss. Not too far away from the Avengers mansion was Thor's great wagon containing a gift of Molnir for Thor. In the inscription of Molnir it stated, Whomsoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. He knew that he might just still be a frog, but if he was worthy of it, it wouldn't matter. Off in the distance a group of rats had found Thor and had the worst of intentions for him. Thor summoned all of his bodily strength to lift Molnir. With the rats quickly approaching, his time was running out. Just in time, the hammer rose as the power of the God of Thunder flew through Thor. He then called his noble steeds, leading his wagon to return to Asgard. With a head full of steam, they made their way to stop Loki from his ascension to the throne. Meanwhile, back in Asgard, Beta Ray Bill was impersonating Thor while he was gone, to stop Loki from becoming the king, hoping that Thor would eventually show up. Loki began to persuade the people that he had earned the right to be king, as he grabbed what they thought was Molnir right out of Beta Ray Bill's hand. The people were in awe as they realized that he was worthy to wield Molnir. When all of a sudden, a blur of blue and red, Thor, still in frog form, flashed over the amphitheater, moving at incredible speed and grabbing Loki, taking him far away from everyone else, and the two began to fight. In the process of their fight, Thor was suddenly restored to his proper state. After Thor had transformed back into his original form, the people of Asgard caught up with the two brothers. Loki, however, wasn't worried about being exposed by Thor, because he wouldn't have any proof that he had turned him into a frog to make it easier for his ascension to the throne. Thor then forced Loki to put his money where his mouth was and tossed Mjolnir for him to catch. To the people's surprise, Loki was taken to the ground in his attempt to hold Mjolnir, exposing the god of mischief and his most recent plot and saving Asgard from his rule. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more videos to come. Also feel free to drop us a comment below on other videos you may be interested in seeing for the future or just any thoughts you have on this video.